I recently purchased a Primus Wind Power Air 40 micro wind generator from Northern Tool, and their product summary claims that it delivers reliable power for new or existing off grid applications. The Air 40 operates efficiently across a wide range of wind speeds, providing energy for telecom, water pumping lighting, and other low-energy demand battery charging applications. With an integrated controller, the Air 40 provides easy plug-and-play installation. I had purchased this in order to supplement my solar panel electric vehicle charging station, and nighttime when the wind's blowing, daytime when the it's very overcast, uh, just as an extra source of uh, char power for the battery system. Uh, mounted my wind generator on the roof and I am uh, running the wire for it right now. Uh, we've got a little bit of wind blowing right now, not enough to turn the uh, generator. So I've run the cable and I'm in the process of wiring up a fuse and a switch that will go directly to the batteries. The, uh, the fuse is going to be a 20 amp fuse because the output of the generator is about uh, 12, 13 amps. This is a 20 amp switch. I've got 20 amp fuses for the uh, fuse, uh, mini fuse holder. I'll tie in this negative cable directly into the negative lead from the 24 volt battery pack. The This orange wire will go directly to the um, positive lead and when I flip it on hopefully the fuse doesn't blow. I don't think it will but uh, what it will do, the, uh, the, the wind generator has a uh, MPPT charge controller built into it for 24 volts so I can connect this system directly to the battery that's what's nice about it so we'll see how it goes <clears throat> I've got the fuse holder mounted and uh, the switch is connected to the fuse I have alligator clips to go to the uh, hot red and I'm about to solder the uh, negative side, which goes directly back to the uh, wind generator. So uh, that's pretty much the last step. Put the cover on the switch, insert the fuse, and flip the switch, and we'll see what happens. And the fuse is in the switch box. 20 amp fuse. Uh, connected the alligator clips. I'm going to cover those with some uh, of this sheeting. It's really made for toolboxes, but that will uh, kind of protect it if you drop a screwdriver or something on there. You don't want that charting out. Okay. Uh, average wind speed, according to my weather station, is about 11 miles an hour. Uh, we've got that the remnants of the Harvey uh, hurricane, which is now just uh, some storm bands. Uh, we're kind of in the middle of that, so we're not getting much rainfall right now. Uh, getting a bit of wind, but you can see that it's not an ideal location. I've got a lot of trees in this area. But uh, if the wind's coming east-west, I'll probably get pretty good, pretty good uh, generation. But uh, it's kind of spinning around crazy right now, but it's still generating, so that's something. Ah, there it goes. Well, every little bit helps.